So, I bought some gold recently, about four chains, all indicating 14 karat gold. They're large chains and they have a lot of weight to them. And I was pretty skeptical, but I was fooled by it. The reason I was fooled by it is because the tendencies from the magnetic uh, tendencies are pretty up to snuff with uh, actual gold. And they're pretty similar. Not a lot of magnetic traction, but some, which is something you could probably expect from a chain like this, which would probably be doped in either a steel or a stainless steel. The problem with this kind of fake gold chain is that it is very difficult to tell the difference between this and actual 14 karat gold. I'm not usually easily fooled, but I was this time because this is my first time experiencing this sort of fake gold. And seems to do pretty well when it comes to the uh, acid test. It survives 10k. 14k is eaten up pretty quick. It just dissolves instantly. Even in the 10k, this one went pretty fast. But if you find something like this out there and you don't have your gold test on you, there's a couple things you can do in order to tell the difference between this and an actual 14 karat gold chain uh, without the magnet even. This tendency, this has a tendency to smell a little bit. It kind of smells like a, like an old penny. It has that copper smell to it. And you're obviously not going to be able to smell it yourself. but is pretty noticeable and I guess in the future for me it'll be a big red flag but one thing that I've learned that you can do and this is I'm just gonna use 18 on this one 18 uh, carat gold uh, acid test solution to show what happens when it just eats right through the gold plating and it's starting to eat into the copper. And that's what that green pigment is. It's that copper dissolving. It's kind of disheartening to find a Hallmark stamped 14K gold, but it does happen. And you really got to be careful with it because you really could pay too much. Especially by those that are intentionally trying to deceive. There's no telling where it came from. But it's out there so you have to be careful when you buy. And as you can see it's taken on the same color as my, um, my towel below it. It's coming out with that green and it has a strong smell of copper. But, once you wear past that, it doesn't look like 14K so much anymore. It looks more like a copper plate. And the consistency is not there. You can definitely tell that's plating. And I just wanted to say be careful out there when you buy and know that this sort of thing is going around, and there's quite a bit of it. Good luck.